Tire pressure monitoring systems have been required on all cars in the United States since September of 2007. Now, when you rotate the tires, if you need to replace a sensor or something like that, a lot of times you have to go in with a scan tool and reprogram it to the vehicle. So let me walk you through that process using this Ford truck right here. Okay, so let's load into the scanner here. And we'll pick the Ford. Auto ID. There's my vehicle, 2014 Ford Transit Connect. Okay. And that's inside the body control module on this. So I'll go in there. Under functional tests. Now we have two different things listed here. The first uh, on the one on the bottom here is TPMS training mode without scanner. So let's see if you didn't have a scan tool, what you would have to walk through before you did this. So it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps over three pages. It's a whole lot of stuff you got to walk through. So let me just exit out of that and we'll go through it with the scanner. It's going to make it a lot faster. Go through scanner. You're going to need to cycle the key to ignition on. And this procedure will enable TPMS sensor location training mode, which is what we're going to uh, teach the computer where the wheels are. Hit continue. Horn sounds. That means we're ready to go. So it's in ready to train mode. So let's go and train these sensors. Okay, so to program these, we have to go around each tire in sequence, starting with the left front. We need to trigger it with some sort of a tire pressure monitoring trigger tool. So we're going to go left front, right front, right rear, left rear, and that should complete the process. So let's start with the left front here. All right, everything's programmed. System's uh, all set, says system is active. It gives us all of our tire pressures here. It tells us that all of the monitors have been programmed properly. So pretty quick and easy versus having to press the gas pedal a bunch of times and turn the key a bunch of times. Uh, it's gonna save you a lot of time just going through with the scan tool.